Hey everyone, it's Dan Duggan. I'm stepping in for James Cratch today. I think James is building a home studio. He's really taking some of your uh, comments to heart. Uh, but so I'm going to step in and give you the three things I'll be watching in Sunday's practice. Uh, starting off, I'm going to stick with the slot corner position. Uh, it's a spot I really paid a lot of attention to in the first two practices. I just think it's going to be really interesting uh, to see how that position shakes out. I think right now it looks like Trevin Wade is probably the, the number one guy there, but Dominique Rogers Camardi uh, got a lot of action there as well on Saturday. So It'll be interesting to see if that's just giving guys looks or is DRC really going to see some time in there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Eli Apple could see some time. Hasn't seen much yet. And, and I just don't know if that's, you know, obviously it's not where they picture him long term. So I don't know if it's in their best interest to, to even bother putting him in there or just keep him on the outside where he's more comfortable. Uh, again, that's just a position I'm going to be monitoring pretty closely all camp. Uh, another spot to watch is uh, Tavares King. I think you always see a guy will pop up in camp with one good day, two good days. Can he string it together? That's obviously what Ben McAdoo is looking for. Uh, King had the play of the day on Saturday, catching a bomb from Ryan Nassib. Made a few other plays. Uh, you know, there's certainly an opportunity further down that wide receiver depth chart for a guy like King to step up. And, and McAdoo even said he seems like a guy who, you know, has earned his stripes from being on the practice squad last year and maybe is ready to take that next step. And then finally, uh, this is off the field, but uh, still notable, Jerry Reese is going to speak to the media uh, after tomorrow's practice. And, uh, you know, this will be his first time talking this summer, and it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say. You have to think he'll be in high spirits because you know, the team that he spent all this money on uh, is out on the field. So I think uh, he'll he'll be excited to see uh, how things are coming together. And it's just always interesting when when Jerry speaks because obviously it doesn't happen that often. So uh, stay tuned to NJ.com. We'll have updates from practice from Jerry Reese and everything else throughout the day.